In the current issue of Colorado Life Magazine, you can read about the Estes Park Memorial Observatory, which was founded by Mike Connolly and his family. But it's not just the stars that have captivated Mike's attention. You've worked on missions from Skylab to the Hubble. What is it like when you've spent years working on a spacecraft and you watch it soar into space? For an engineer in aerospace, two or three missions pretty well wrap up your whole career. And so you'll spend, you know, depending on the mission, seven, ten years on, on one mission. And the one that comes to mind was just recently it was Curiosity, which was Mars, uh, the Mars Lander, MSLA, Mars Science Lab, which was later named the Curiosity. But last August when it landed was like seven minutes of terror, I believe that was the name of the thing. And it, it truly is, for the engineers that have worked on that for the last 10 years, uh, their whole mission boils down to this seven minute landing phase. And that's one of the most exciting portions of the mission. That was a first time only landing and it's coming in from, uh, you know, from space and it's going to go up to like 50 times the speed of sound and it's going to come stopping in, in midair and, and all of this stuff has to work this perfect and, and you're holding your breath. And for seven it, minutes. For seven minutes, that's a long time. And uh, it worked perfect. It was phenomenal. I'm sure that the exhilaration that you feel after is right, worth the nerves. Right. It is. It's very, it uh, very uh, nerve-wracking. Well, you'll have to check out the magazine to read the rest on how Mike Connolly, what prompted him to open up the Memorial Observatory. Thank you, Mike. Well, thank you, Karen.